Police! Honey, dehydrated. Do we have anything with electrolytes? Sleeping Beauty, wake up. It's an emergency. The fridge is empty. Come on, it's almost four. Elise, sweetie. Call Jacques. Tell him I'm not feeling well. It's Saturday. I've been to work in three days, remember? Just let me sleep. Come on. You haven't been out of bed since Wednesday. Leave me alone. <laughs> Come on. Sit up. No, oh, leave me alone. Honey. Oh, stop! Leave me alone! I think there's something wrong with me. She's been averaging 18 hours of sleep a day since her admission. Clinical depression. Incredibly contagious. Every time I'm around one of them, I get blue. It's not clinical depression. Great. Got it all figured out. You don't need me. Three ER doctors, two neurologists, and a radiologist have all figured out what it's not. We need to figure out what it is. If any of the above-mentioned doctors were interested in my opinion, they would have asked for it. None of them are willing to subject themselves to you. No pain, no gain. The blood work shows no signs of inflammation, and no one can figure out what's actually the cause uh, of it. What? Husband described her as being unusually irritable recently. And? I didn't realize it was possible for a woman to be unusually irritable. Nice try, but you're a misanthrope, not a misogynist. What's the first thing you ask a doctor who's referring a patient? Are you questioning my ability to take a history? What's the primary... Not what. Why? Diseases don't have motives. No, but doctors do. Why this patient? What interests you? Give me the chart. Why? I find your interest interesting. A tumor. We don't know. We're checking just to be safe. You already checked for that. The previous MRI had a broader view. Some tumors are almost impossible to see unless you know exactly where to look. That means it would be small, right? Yeah. Then you'd be able to operate. Take it out. If it's a tumor, there are a variety of treatment options, but there are variables other than just size. Don't worry. Too late. <laughs> Try to remain as still as possible. The less distortion there is, the more detail we'll be able to see. Okay. There were no lesions and no mass effect that we could see. What does that mean? It means we're still not sure what's causing the neurological problems. I know. Some things are hard to cure. But what I just don't get is why it's taking so long to figure out what's wrong with her. I know you're scared. I would be, too. I don't feel good. You feeling nauseous? Honey, you all right? She's seizing! Get on her side. I need some Ativan! Okay. What's happened? She's having a seizure. <laughs> She's aspirating. Suck. Come on, Elise. <laughs> the MRI reveals nothing. That we were able to detect. It's not a tumor. A small glioma could hide from contrast. We could do a PET scan. Yes, that's how a responsible doctor would waste his time in this situation. Suddenly, tests and radiologists aren't capable of error? A glioma not presenting on a contrast MRI would have to be smaller than a grain of sand, which does not a gravely ill person make. It could be just postictal disorientation. We would have seen improvement by now. Late stage Lyme disease can cause seizures. Does the husband care about her? He hasn't left her bedside. How annoying. It also means she doesn't have Lyme disease. What, love conquers all? Lyme disease initially presents with a rash Mr. Clingy would have noticed. We've looked at everything else. Did you look at her breasts? Men. 
Could be paraneoplastic. Does she have any family history of breast cancer? Her mother died of it. The brain, but not the brain. Clever, huh? How can breast cancer cause problems in her brain? There are molecular similarities between brain cells and tumor cells. Paraneoplastic syndrome causes the body's own antibodies to get thrown off track. They end up attacking the brain instead of the tumor. So if you do find a tumor, what do you do? We treat the underlying malignancy. Once there's no tumor to attack, there's nothing for the antibodies to get confused about. If the tumor is treatable. Exactly. Ow. I'm sorry, I know it's uncomfortable. The tighter we go, the better the image will be. At least it'll keep me awake. Don't worry, it's almost over. I wish people would stop telling me not to worry. I'm sorry. My mom was the same age. We've been trying to get pregnant for over a year. I guess we're lucky we didn't. A lot has changed since your mom died. Don't worry. Don't give up. <laughs>